Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Redcard200. So we got a, a Minecraft uh, trophy guide for expansion packs number six. So this could also work on PS Vita and PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3, it's actually named something different. But um, the only trophy that you will not receive if you follow the guide is Great View from up here. Uh, because we need to find the Ender Portal, and I couldn't find the Ender Portal on this tutorial world. Um, not sure why. If you'd like to uh, let me know where it's at, I'd really appreciate it. So that way, maybe I could help out some other people with it. But you'll you'll actually receive all the other trophies. So if you follow the guide thoroughly, um, I'll kind of give my advice and explain what I'm doing uh, to receive all the other trophies. I know the the guide is actually pretty long, so I, I apologize. But the trophies are really scattered around, and they're kind of harder to get. So um, if if I help you with this video, all I ask is that you check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Um, let's go ahead and get started with our, our trophy guide. So the first thing we're going we're going to want to do is start a new tutorial world for the aquatic update. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab it, the leash, the lead, and uh, after we do that, we're going to get a lot of hay base. And the purpose of this is uh, we're actually going to make another llama. There's four llamas in this world, so we actually need five for the trophy. So the trophy we are going for is so I got that going for me. And uh, we are actually getting a lot of hay because uh, we could also make bread because we're going to be traveling around. So we actually need that just in case uh, we start dying. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, so you want to go to the far end. There are two uh, llamas there, and we're going to have them mate. And I'm going to show you how to do that. In order to, because remember, we need five, there's four already. So, first thing you're gonna want to do is get the hay, and you're gonna want to feed them. You're gonna want to feed them four hays each one. Okay, notice I'm feeding them. After I feed them, I go over to another item, and then I push L2, and I basically get on top of them. Usually, there's some hearts that show up. You saw a little bit of the heart, that means it's been tamed. So, we're gonna go back to the hay, and we're gonna feed the other one, four of them. And then we're gonna go to switch, and we're gonna go to tame. You see the hearts? Okay, it means it's been it's been tamed. So now we're gonna go back to the hay, and notice it says love mode now. So we're gonna go ahead and hit love mode, hit love mode on both of them, and you'll notice that they'll make a baby. So you wanna cover your eyes, so you won't see that. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go ahead and open the gate here. I'm gonna open the gate for all the others as well, so that way I get all five. And I'm going to go ahead and put the leash on one of the llamas, whichever one, doesn't matter. And then the trophy should pretty much pop there. Yeah, that'd be your first one. Alright, so now we're going for trophy number two. Uh, the name of the trophy is called Change of Sheets. Dye your bed a different color. So the first thing, we're going to go ahead and proceed over here to where the villagers are. And we're going to go ahead and get a bed. You could also create one, but I find it easier just going ahead and grabbing this one. Even though it's dyed already, uh, it's not a big deal. And now we're going to head over to this area where we could actually get some of the color. So it doesn't necessarily matter um, what color we decide to do it. I typically just go with red and we'll go ahead and just color it that way. Alright, so we're just going to follow this direction. So I'm going to warn you that after this, it's going to get a little bit. There's a lot of material that I need to get in order to go to the other, uh, to get some of the other trophies. So just bear with me there. Okay, I try to make it as easy as possible, trying not to make so many mistakes. So. Uh, it does take some time to to go through this thoroughly for you, and plus finding all the all the items, so or all the ways to get the trophy. So we're over here in this area, and then we're gonna go ahead and get some color from this uh, chest here. Uh, I got red, and now we're gonna go to the crafting table that's there. Okay, you're gonna push um, L1 or R1. And we're gonna go over to the color section, and then we're gonna go. Um, there we go. Okay, and then we push our uh, R2, and then we're switching over the color to the red one. And we go ahead and just color it. Push X, and as soon as it's colored, you should receive your trophy. So we got the two out of the six that I'm gonna show you how to get. Alright, so this is where I'm gonna start gathering all the supplies I need for my other trophies. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mine this uh, wood here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab four of them. I thought it was easier just to grab this and to look for some trees since they're already here. Hey, um, the other trophies require a little bit more time and thought uh, in order to get. So I thought I'd make it, you know, where I gather all my things and then I head out. 
um, obviously there's uh, enemies out there so I gotta protect myself as well and we're gonna create some armor we're also gonna be trading with some villagers as well uh, in order to get some the book uh, for the fr frost walker so we're gonna head over this chest I need to grab this paper plus I'm gonna remove some items I don't need um, I know I'm not gonna use anymore okay I made a mistake there go ahead and pick that uh, wood back up and we're gonna head over to the the beacon and we're gonna go ahead and create an iron pickaxe so that way uh, we mine some of the iron and the gold and as well as the diamond so right now I'm gonna go ahead and create my my wood here alright there we go and then I'm gonna go ahead and create a crafting table alright before I start uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this chest here and this is where I'm gonna get the iron from that I need in order to make my iron pickaxe so go back to my crafting table create some sticks and now push um, to the right and then we're going to go and create our iron pickaxe alright now what we're going to do is we're going to mine all this items that are here in this area so the purpose of mining this is we're going to need to trade with villagers in order to receive some um, emeralds and I'm just going to make it easy uh, we're actually going to have a little bit more than we need but uh, that's okay we're going to go ahead and uh, it's just easier to explain just to go ahead and mine all these things and then after this uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some diamonds as well because uh, the diamonds would be for also for trading uh, as well as uh, creating armor and a sword because we are gonna head out in a little bit um, so it does get a little bit dangerous too so like I said I try to make this as easy as possible and as uh, you know not so confusing as possible I've seen some trophy guides for some videos and you know they don't explain how to get anything they just kind of tell me how I could get it but they don't necessarily show me which I prefer them showing me uh, than actually telling me alright so I went ahead and um, got my crafting table too just in case I need it so we're gonna head over here and first thing is we're gonna go ahead and uh, mine some diamond too might as well just do that while we're here I like to come over here and there's an actual monument here that I go ahead and grab some some diamond off of uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and grab I believe 10 of them 10 of them I think should be good enough so it's actually in the middle of the tutorial world as you as you enter uh, you'll probably see it up top when you go when you go through for the first time uh, I'm only gonna pick up 10 of them 10 of them should be enough I'm gonna go ahead and keep mining here I'm trying to get the ones above me so that way they don't fall to the ground and give me a little bit more work. Alright, so I went ahead and got 10. 10 blocks of diamond. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the right hand side where the villagers are. We need to go ahead and grab these items here. Yeah, go ahead and grab all that. That helps us out. Grab that paper too. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and need um, a total of 50 emeralds in order to trade uh, for the Frostwalker uh, book. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, make the blocks into, into pieces now of gold, of iron, and uh, as well as diamond. So that way we trade with the villagers. Like I said, so the purpose of this is for the the emeralds. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, grab 50 of them. Is what we're gonna need. So you go over here, you trade with them. There should be some ones that trade for this, for these items here. Uh, see, you see. Okay, so remember we're we're collecting 50 of them. And you notice uh, he stops. You can stop trading with him and then you'll see some green come around him indicating he has more items now okay we're gonna look for some other guy that also has it for the diamond he's, he's, he's not over there he's on this side then um, in here okay there we go and we're just gonna keep collecting and then once he, he sells out of items so just go slowly so that we don't waste any of your 
your diamonds and stuff like that because then you could buy you could purchase some items that you don't need and it's gonna hold you back so just go slowly there so these guys always spawn he's gotta find them they're either on this side or on the other side okay so notice I need uh, 50 of them there you go alright I'm gonna grab um, this anvil on the side so that way when we get the frost walker, the frost walker book uh, we could actually apply it to our boots now there we go grab that alright remember I'm still grabbing supplies for all my other trophies that I need uh, so just bear with me so I'm gonna go over to the right hand side and we're going to get some TNT and some redstone as well as um, we're gonna get some I think I think for this area it would be that just the redstone and the TNT and this would be for the for the guardian we're gonna go ahead and blow up a certain section so that way it makes it easier to get in there okay we're also gonna get a pup fish in a little while too okay the pup fish will be for, to make a potion and the potion will be to to stay uh, underwater for a certain amount of time usually three minutes but we're gonna make one for eight minutes to make things a lot easier and that'd be for the the elder guardian okay be careful with the other fishes there because they could also hit you now right, get out of there all right now we're gonna go ahead and get our redstone the redstone will be to light up the TNT for the guardian found this the easiest way to do it because there's a, a trophy uh, there's like a maze as well we could go through the maze but that's gonna take too long this is a lot faster alright so now we're gonna go to the other side we're gonna go in and create a, a potion so the way the potion will be is you gotta make an awkward potion once you make an awkward potion uh, you'll put the puff fish on there which will make a water breathing a potion for three minutes and then we're gonna add redstone to that which will make it for eight minutes uh, which actually makes things a lot nicer because we are going to have to go underwater to defeat the 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 guardian and there's actually small ones we're going to have to kill the big one so here go to this chest okay I need the bottles I need the powder blaze powder and then I need the the wart okay now I'm going to grab my, my glass bottles I'm going to put water in it I'm gonna go ahead and just create three of them, might as well. Okay. Now I'm going to the brewing station. I'm gonna go ahead and put my all the necessary ingredients in there. So I'm gonna put the water, the water bottles, and then the powder. Uh, the powder has to go in the other area. There we go, like that. Now the nether wart. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that some time there that would make the awkward potion and it just takes a little bit of time so just be patient with me after this trust me we'll get 90% of the trophies here alright so we got our, our one potion now we put the puff fish on there luckily this tutorial world wasn't too bad it gave us all the necessary uh, ingredients to make all these things it's gotta find things that's the problem just finding them taking our time to do the pattern and how to do this all right so notice you'll have a potion of water breathing only for three minutes though so we're gonna add some redstone to that and by adding the redstone uh, that would make it for eight minutes which would give us plenty enough time to defeat the guardian in a bit so please, I'd encourage you to uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to establish a channel about where I preach God's word. Um, let you know what I think the world is. Our purpose of our uh, being in this world is as well. You know, we talk about scripture. talk about daily things that's going on in the world. It has to do with Christ and what he told us to do. So I encourage you to just take a listen. I also have some trophy hunting videos on there as well. So if you're into that type of thing, I also have another Minecraft guide. Uh, for the new aquatic update too so uh, hopefully I'm helping you out if I am you know please spread the word uh, I'm trying to just preach God's word that's all I'm trying to do alright so now we're gonna go over here to this end 
and we're gonna go to create our armor plus we're gonna go to grab a bolt from that chest on the left hand side so we're also gonna create uh, the the wheat from the hay so that way we make some bread too all right so we're gonna go with the armor first and this is to protect ourselves because just in case uh, we we're gonna get attacked and we're gonna go into battle in a little bit too all right so I got all my armor I'm gonna get a pickaxe as well as a sword those are the necessary things that I need okay so we should have enough uh, diamond in order to do all those things. If not, you could just go back and grab some more. Not a big deal. Alright, now we're going to create our wheat. And our wheat is for our bread. That we're going to need. And trust me, we're going to need it because we are going to get attacked. So, you know, you might think it's, oh, it's a lot of wheat, but a lot of bread, but it's worth it. So we don't die. Okay, and we're going to go to our redstone. And we're going to need that and we're going to create a block of redstone and that's the purpose to light okay and now we need a boat which is over here on the left hand side all right let's put our armor on and let's go ahead and set this up to have our sword here pickaxe as well bread uh, we're gonna need that I think that's good and we need our boat so I hate I hate worlds with, with a lot of water in it mm, just don't really dig that all right we're gonna gather one last thing here which is the slime block okay four of them should be enough three and there we go there's four all right so we gathered all the things that we needed I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they are they're all right here we're gonna need all these things in order to gather or to collect all the other trophies there make it easier for us I'm just kind of setting things up I'm putting all the the TNT in the slime blocks we're gonna go to the Guardian right now I'm gonna show you where that's at I need my map there, so I'm trying to figure out what to take out. All right, so we're on our way. We're gonna go to the where the guardians are. So the name of the trophy is called the Deep End Trophy, and it says uh, defeat an elder guardian. So the guardian is actually a, like a like a really big piranha fish uh, that only spawn in certain areas. So the regular way to get this trophy would be to go through a maze. Uh, of the castle where the other the other guardian is located at but we're not going to do that we're going to go ahead and blow up a section and we'll find the ender uh, the elder guardian in there uh, once we blow up the section that's why we need the tnt and the slime and the, the red the redstone so if we're going over here to this side so once you leave the main section of the tutorial map uh, we're going to head over here to the left hand side we can go up this water here so obviously, uh, before we do this, we're gonna actually gonna want to save just in case we die. Uh, we don't have to really worry about that. We could just, you know, reload our save. So notice where I'm at right here. That's kind of where everything's gonna be at. I need my boat. Bring our boat with us, and just go ahead and make sure you save. Uh, I went ahead and saved right here. So I'm gonna show you that. Disable auto save. Go ahead and push OK, and that's kind of it back to resume game alright so uh, now we're gonna grab our boat put it back oh I need that I need that redstone so we're gonna take the map out alright so we're gonna put our boat so the guardian actually spawns over here in this area so uh, I'm gonna go around uh, there's like a a section in the in the water that actually brings us down so you gotta be careful so you don't want to go to the left hand side there you want to travel to the right um, you see the lights right there in the water that's kind of where the guardian is located at so um, we gotta make sure we have our bread because we are going to be attacked right now okay it's actually around that area you'll see the big one right now uh, coming through the wall so I'm gonna go ahead and drink my my potion remember I got eight minutes uh, water breeding they don't have to worry about 
Okay, so that's that's where I'm at right now. Notice I'm being attacked already. All right, so I went and drank my my potion there. Now we can go into the water and not die, not having to worry about that. All right, so you gotta be careful with those. Some people think if you kill those, you'll get the trophy, but it won't work. You gotta kill the big one. You'll see the big one uh, through the wall in a little while. Uh, we're gonna blow up this section right here because that's where it's located at. All right, so they actually put a, a curse on us that we can't mine certain things. I guess for the purpose of you know not cheating. I guess they wanted us to go through a maze. We're not gonna go through the maze though. We're gonna blow this up. So we need slime around the TNT because if not, the impact won't be so great. Um, so we're gonna put the slime box uh, around it. So I'm actually dying. So I'm gonna go back up, eat some bread. Okay, I'm just trying to survive there. <laughs> it's actually pretty difficult. Um, so just be careful, be patient with it, make sure you save your game, that's important. But man, the water breathing makes this a lot easier to do, especially the eight minute one. Three minute one might be a little bit more tedious. So I'm gonna put the slime over here. You see the, the guardian is actually coming through the wall there. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna put the redstone on top of it. So that way we light it up, which is pretty awesome. Actually, no, that wasn't the one I needed. I thought that was. There, sometimes you could see the the guardian through the wall there. I guess you can't. You can't right now. There you go. Put the redstone on him. Light it up. Blow it up. So the slime blocks around is very very important because not the impact won't be so great. All right, now we're gonna go in there, and you'll see him right now. There you go. It's that big one right there that we have to kill. You notice he has his guardians there as well, protecting him. So we gotta kill the big one. So notice I actually don't uh, have a lot of slowness in my in my hits here. So that's a curse that they go ahead and put on you, I guess. So you won't mind, so you won't cheat. All right, so he's actually shooting at me. Gotta be real careful here. I'm pretty much dying. I gotta take cover. So that's why the the purpose of the bread for now. Now you're happy that I made you make so much bread there, because we're going to need it. So I'm just taking cover here, just trying to hide. There's one right there. Let me go ahead and hit it. Usually when you hit it, they, they run away. See, they, they take off. Gotta hit this big one. Gotta go at it. So uh, you can swim faster by running in the water. There we go. Went ahead and killed it. Uh, there we go. You should receive your trophy there. So we're going to go ahead and get our next trophy. We, it's called Let It Go. I guess it's inspired for the movie Frozen. Uh, description of the trophy is walk across the surface of a deep ocean by freezing the water with frost walker boots. So we actually have our boots. We need the, fro the frost walker a spell book in order to put that on our boots so that's what we need all the other material we're gonna go ahead and trade uh, with villagers and I thought the best place to do that would be in this location here and we're, I'm gonna go ahead and show you where that's at so be careful since it's dark there are enemies so just be careful not to die uh, notice I'm kinda dying so I should eat some bread I'm being attacked though so you gotta be careful we just have like a little curse on us too, I don't know how long. Yeah, that for another minute here. So I'm going to have taken cover here. I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to go, I have to go back. So if you want to save your game, that'd be a good idea too. That way, just in case you do die, you could just head over to the section you need to. I like the creeper, I think it's a wonderful idea that he basically blows up, I think that's so cool. So let's just uh, kill the skeleton here. And so this is actually the more tedious trophy from them all, it requires a little bit of luck. So you could get it on your first try or it could take you 20 to 30 tries, so uh, like I said this is the more time consuming one because you're going to have to save your game and then reload it and then give it another try again basically trade 
uh, with the villagers in order to receive the the spell book for the frost walker so you know I've done this in five tries I've done it in two tries and then I've done it where it's just tedious and I actually don't get them so um, you know it's all luck dependent so I'm sorry uh, I was actually I went around searching for the actual spell book itself but I couldn't find it and plus uh, I got I saw some videos that they don't necessarily show you where to get it or so I thought this is actually the easiest and the best way to to receive them um, I don't know if we, maybe the other villi villagers in the other in the tutorial world where we actually spawn at I don't know if they could actually help us get some of the spell books but I thought this hit earth two guys over here I thought this is the best place to get them so we go up here uh, we're looking for the villagers with the white robe those are the ones that have the spell books I guess those are the ones that have the the good stuff as well the brown ones are pretty much just very common so um, we actually need some books over here too before we we need to trade some books and we're actually gonna get them from here get my pickaxe okay we need we need to talk to that guy right now a little bit so we actually need two books two books would be good enough so I actually got three alright so make sure you save your game before you attempt this please save game okay don't put the auto save because then it'll save automatically alright so we need to get the frost walker uh, spell book so notice what I'm doing here I'm gonna trade with him okay put it put the paper first to get one emerald alright now I'm gonna go to the right hand side I'm, I'm trying to spend as less emeralds as possible because I do need them notice I trade with them and then I stop and then he, he flashes green that basically indicates that he received new items or he updated the items he already has alright and I'm gonna go over to the right hand side and notice the book that I received alright so I didn't get the one I wanted so I'm gonna go over to the other guy there's another guy with a white robe that I need to find see where that guy is located at I think he might be in the other house so he's somewhere around here we just gotta find him look for him you see is that guy yeah that guy right there okay so I'm gonna give him the paper so I can get an emerald alright now I'm gonna go to the right hand side so I'm trying to spend as less as possible I'm gonna get the bookshelf and now I'm gonna go to the right hand side uh, I'm gonna get the glass that's the cheapest and now over here to the right hand side alright I'm gonna check to see alright he, so we got a fortune book I don't need that so sometimes too you can actually purchase from him like you purchase the book and then you'll receive another book too so sometimes that that actually helps but you're ha you might have to go back and get some more emeralds too in order to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up that way you kinda see how many attempts it actually took me uh, thank god it was actually not very many actually this is the one I got really lucky on that I actually attempted it an another time and then I actually received the frost walker uh, boots um, so you get there's you know there's different types of spells so it's all luck dependent like I told you so notice I uploaded my save uh, this guy's kinda running for me so they go a little crazy I'm gonna go to him first give him the paper once again notice he'll turn green got new material get the bookshelf after the bookshelf will be the glass go to the right hand side there you go I got my glass and now give him another try see what book he has okay no it doesn't have the book I want now I'm gonna go to this guy over here trade in the paper get an emerald alright go to the bookshelf alright go to the right hand side get the glass with him again all right to see if he has the book I want all right he has a frost walker two books and notice I actually notice I don't have enough emeralds in order to purchase that so I'm gonna have to go back I didn't record that I thought it'd be a little bit too you know boring for you to see me go back and trade so I'm gonna give the go to the villagers in the tutorial world uh, where I recently started and just trade with them some of the more silver some of the diamonds that I don't need in order to to get enough so I actually need uh, 40 48 of them so now I'm back I uh, notice I actually got enough now and now I got the frost walker 2 book so it, it's all dependent as well 
uh, before I had enough which is 50 and now I didn't have enough for 50 so alright so I'm gonna get the, the anvil and the anvil is to actually place the um, I need to unequip my boots I actually forgot to do that okay unequip my boots and it doesn't matter what what uh, boots you get they can work with leather ones too it doesn't matter alright I got my boots now and now I got my book and notice the cost I need to level at least level 4 to give up to do it or right, I got my boots alright so what the boots do now is they allow you to walk on on water which would uh, basically turn the water into ice and it actually lets you walk across there so uh, the trophy is a little but it's in the description we have to walk across the ocean which means we need a big pile of water so I actually went around a lot of places and I couldn't uh, find out where exactly I needed to go so I actually just kept traveling and traveling I noticed this you know I was like well, what's wrong with the trophy you know did I not do something right because it's not popping I would have thought it would already pop already but uh, I guess the trophy is a little uh, specific on what it wants you to do so notice I'm walking across water now but you know you probably see it too that there's uh, no trophy popping and you would have thought it might have popped already so I noticed uh, back over here where the guardians were located at I thought that's the best place to go in order to unlock the trophy so once you go into the actual water itself um, you know you can't necessarily walk on water anymore you gotta start off from land and then go to the water in order to get the ice so in order to swim faster you actually run in the water so I actually learned that a little bit late too so um, give me the heads up on that so we're gonna go over here where the guardian was at and there's more I guess more ocean over there so I'm gonna go ahead and travel across here just go ahead and kill any type of enemies you might have see that's why we needed all the bread as well as the iron or the um, the armor alright so notice where I'm at I'm gonna go ahead and travel across here and I'm gonna go all the way through to the very end and I believe the, po the trophy should pop in a little bit alright then after this I'm gonna show you how to get two more trophies um, the trophies you actually need to find a certain castle where they spawn at I guess it's a castle or it's actually a really big mansion um, if you played the story mode it's very similar to that there's a mansion in one of the DLC levels on, on Minecraft story mode so I believe the trophy should pop around right here if not um, I'm gonna go ahead and travel back because I need to go back that way to, in order to get to the mansion so I'm actually gone to the very edge of the map or the world here and I'm gonna travel back and trophy should pretty much pop around this area so uh, like I said I went around all the map <laughs> and this is the only place I had it's uh, the trophy pop so uh, that's why I'm kinda letting you go letting you know to go over here so you don't waste time uh, going to all these different places even though like you know it's a water level it should you know be enough but apparently it wasn't so I guess they were very specific on how they wanted this done alright so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trophy should pop by now so I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other trophies we need oh, let's see okay and I'm gonna take you over to the mansion show you where that's at I'm also gonna save my game um, you know just make sure I don't get messed up or I get lost or something uh, to save my game I encourage you to save your game too, that we don't have to worry. Alright, we are almost done with our guide here. Alright, so the next two trophies we're going to receive is Feeling Ill, which is Defeat an Evoker. So the Evokers only spawn in the mansion, which we have to go to the mansion in order to get. Once we kill an Evoker, uh, they actually drop a totem. And that will be for the next trophy, it's called Cheating Death. Uh, it says use the totem of underdying to cheat death so we actually equip the totem and then we're gonna have uh, an enemy kill us and then once we kill us the totem will actually revive us and give us life again so pretty easy we just need to find the mansion and the evoker is actually nothing too hard it's like a regular villager that we just need to kill which is you know 
pretty easy to do. So sorry I'm not speeding this up. Uh, I don't want you to get lost on the process of heading over to the mansion. You know, I've seen some guides where they go really quickly uh, to save time and you know, I, I find it more frustrating or not because I can't figure out where they went. So I thought I'd just, you know, show you regular speed on how to get there. I'm also showing you the map too, so uh, just in case you get lost, you could actually just go to that area too. Uh, so what I'm also doing is I'm, I'm also streaming at night. I play a lot of Rocket League. I play um, Dead by Daylight too since it is uh, October and I want, you know, something a little scary to play too. I'd encourage you to check out my stream. In my stream I do talk about God. You know, just, you know, ask questions. You know, I, I actually realize a lot of people haven't read the Bible. So I just started to talk to them about it. So my main purpose is just to um, have you find a relationship with Jesus Christ just like I have. So that's kind of the whole purpose of it. You know, I thought I'm a big time gamer. I'm a big time trophy hunter. And I'm very interested in God. I feel like a lot of us, uh, everyone actually should be uh, too. And, you know, we don't we don't basically want to end up in hell when we die. We want eternal life in heaven, um, you know. So I'm just trying to establish that uh, for everybody because that's what I'm trying to gain too. Don't think that I've established that and I'm going to heaven. I, I don't think anything of like that, like that. I don't even think I'm worthy enough to, you know, to be by God and my Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. So all I'm trying to do is just trying to do my best on this earth to... Uh, help other people find a relationship with him like I have because he he's clearly changed my life So I encourage you to just check out my channels, uh, you know I spend some time just trying to help you out with these trophies so you could just you know spend 15 20 minutes Just trying to listen to my video. I'd, I'd appreciate it and something good and a lot better than trophies would actually come out of that so It's a win-win for us if I help you and I hope you find a relationship with God. That's all I'm trying to do, and, and that's all I'm trying to find. So I'm doing these videos on the side, so that way I get people interested in, in checking out my videos. You know, just give it a try. Um, you know, what is it? You know, if you find Jesus Christ in your heart, that's great. We, we've actually gained a, a lot more than than we expected. So um, I think a lot of gamers are lost, and you know, we think I think they're lost because I was one of them. Uh, too busy playing games rather than you know reading God's word, the Bible, uh, the gospel, searching for for answers of of why we're here, things like that. So I'm um, just trying to help a gamer out, just like Jesus Christ helped you know this gamer out, which is myself. So uh, let's continue on with our video. So we actually have um, the mansion here. Uh, that we actually see. So the mansion is actually by where we spawn in the tutorial world, but we actually just I just went around. I thought I found it easier to do that, especially with the Frost Walker boots. So all we need to do is find uh, one of the villains that we need here, the Evoker. Just go ahead and find him. I went ahead and saved just in case uh, it took me too long or you know I had some trouble just pretty much finding one. Or also if I died too because you could actually die there's some enemies in here too So I went ahead and just broke the window to get through into the mansion. I know that's kind of rude of me to break a window to get in but eh, I'm in a rush here I'm trying to get these trophies here All right, so I'm, you know notice it's really dark and the actual evokers do hide in the dark for some reason uh, That's find that a little strange. I guess you know I, I guess they remind me of bats and they, they have a really dark in their their house here their mansion so you you really you kind of do have to search for them uh, some some kind of just pop out of nowhere so I actually received the trophies ahead of this uh, to give me time to establish my route so I'm gonna find one here and I think it is one of them so you might actually get the trophy spawn in a little bit so there are also, also some other uh, villains in here or monsters so you gotta be careful uh, notice you actually hear them in the, the video here so we're actually traveling here uh, you know it gets a little tedious and I'm sorry about that I just like to show you everything but uh, you know you don't necessarily have to watch the whole video at this point you know all you gotta do is find one once you find one they're here in the mansion somewhere uh, once you find them uh, all you gotta do is defeat them and then hopefully you drop a totem and the totem you just equipped it. The equipping of the totem might be a little hard uh, to do. There's a section right beside your body 
uh, there you go that's actually one of them there I believe that's one of them so uh, you actually should receive the trophy notice he didn't he didn't drop a totem there so we actually have to find another one so you actually should have received that trophy there um, feeling ill and now we're going we actually need to find another one because they're the ones that dropped the the totem and that would be for the cheating death trophy use the totem of underdying uh, to cheat death uh, so I'm still searching here mm, should find one in a little bit but hopefully I helped you out with the video uh, hopefully I found it a little easier for you to do and um, like I said I couldn't find the other trophy or the other I can unlock it because I couldn't find the end of portal in this world I have one in the other the other tutorial world so maybe you might have that if you want a guide on how to where the in the portals at on the other tutorial map the one before this I could show you I could show you that so just let me know if you're interested in finding that out all right so it actually dropped the totem you equipped it there and all we got to do is find a monster to kill us now and once they kill us that should automatically uh, keep us from dying so now all we got to do is find a monster which is pretty pathetic that we we need a monster in order to die um, you know now that we're trying to die now it's kind of hard to find one which I think is funny so in order to die faster you know all you gotta do is un unequip your armor too I was a little dumb and didn't realize that <laughs> I had my armor on and I realized that they weren't really uh, doing me much damage um, so I'm actually just trying to find a monster here I think there's one in here. There, look, there we go. There's a skeleton here. Now that so notice, uh, you can just remove your armor. Uh, it's kind of dumb of me not to, and then just have them kill you. See, notice he's only giving me very little damage. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. I was like, what's going on? How come this guy can't kill me? What's you know? No, that I want him to kill me doesn't kill me. <laughs> now he's just staring at me. You kind of have to move towards him so that way he fires at you. And like I said, it's, there we go. I'm just removing my stuff now. Alright, so if I hope you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's like this video and every other video. Uh, God bless you. Okay? You have a good day. There we go. You should have got the other trophy.